In our day-to-day -day lives, we often need to transfer data from one Excel worksheet to another. Manually copying and pasting the data is one option, but this process is tedious. In this regard, you can apply VVA macros to get your job done within a second. Hello everyone! Welcome to Excel Demi, your day-to-day -day Excel and VVA tutorial helpline. This is Hadiul Bashar and today I'll demonstrate 7 different methods of how to transfer data from one sheet to another in Excel using macros. For this video, I will use Microsoft Excel 365. Here is the dataset. This includes the model name of different smartphones and their corresponding unit prices. I will transfer this data from the dataset worksheet to another worksheet using macros. Let's begin with a simple example. In this example, I have the name of the phone model in cell B5. However, the corresponding unit price in cell C5 is missing. If you go back to the dataset worksheet, you will find the corresponding unit price in cell C5. So, I can transfer the unit price value from cell C5 of this dataset worksheet to the cell C5 of this transferring single cell worksheet. To do so, I can use the VVA macro. To write the VVA macro, first of all, I need to enable the developer tab. Right click on any of the tab. Go to Customize the Ribbon. This opens Excel Options window. From the Customize Ribbon section, in the main tabs, check Developer tab. Click on OK. And you can see that the Developer tab is enabled. Move to the Code section. Click on Visual Basic. Alternatively, you can press Alt plus F11 to open the Visual Basic window. This opens the Visual Basic window. Now, I want to write a code that will work on all the worksheets of this workbook. For that reason, I need to write the code in a module. So first of all, let's insert a module. Go to the Insert tab. Click on Module. You can see that Module 1 is created. Now resize the code window so that you can get a clear view of the code. I have copied the code from the article. You will find the link of the article in the description box. Now let me paste the code by pressing Ctrl plus V. This is the code that will transfer the value. I have named this macro as copy paste single range to another sheet. Here I have used the range.copy method to copy the cell value of C5 from the dataset worksheet and paste that value in cell C5 of the transferring single cell worksheet. You can execute the code now. You can click on this play icon to run the code. Alternatively, you can press F5 to run the code. As a result, you can see that the unit price is transferred to this worksheet. Sometimes you need to copy and paste only a portion of the dataset. For example, if you go back to the dataset worksheet, this time I'll transfer the sales values of sales B5 to C7. Go back to the transferring selected data worksheet. Now to write the code, move to the developer tab. From the code section, click on Visual Basic. As a result, the Visual Basic window is open. Let's insert a new module to write the code. Click on Insert, go to Module. As a result, you can see that Module 2 is created. I will write the code in Module 2. I have already copied the code from the article. So now, I will paste the code by pressing Ctrl plus V. This is the code that will transfer the portion of the dataset worksheet to the transferring selected data worksheet. Let me briefly explain the code. First of all, I have declared two variables to hold the name of the source worksheet and the target worksheet where I will paste the values. Then I have set the dataset worksheet as a source worksheet and transferring selected data worksheet as a target worksheet. You should insert the name of the worksheet where you want to transfer the data properly. Later I have used the range.copy method again to copy the sales values of B5 to C7 from the source worksheet and pasted those values in cells B5 to B7 in the target worksheet. Now click on this play icon to execute the code. As a result, you can see that the values are transferred to this worksheet. This time, I will copy paste all the values from the dataset worksheet to this worksheet using the range.copy method. I will use a code to do that. Now move to the developer tab from the code section. Click on Visual Basic. This opens the Visual Basic window. Let's insert a new module for this code. Go to Insert tab. Click on Module. And you can see that a new module is created. I'll place my code in this module. 
Like the previous methods, I have also copied the code from the article. So let me paste the code by pressing Ctrl plus V. The code is quite simple. The name of the macro is copy range to another sheet. This time it will copy the values of cells B5 to C10 from the dataset worksheet to the cells B5 to C10 in the range.copy worksheet. Now press F5 to run the code. And you can see that the values are transferred from the dataset worksheet to this worksheet. In the previous methods, I was actively in a worksheet where I have transferred the values. What will happen if I want to transfer the data to such a worksheet that is currently not active? For example, I want to transfer the data to the worksheet named active sheet to another. However, I'll do that while staying on a different worksheet. Let's move to the range.copy worksheet. You can move to any worksheet according to your choice. Now move to the developer tab. From the code section, click on Visual Basic. This opens the Visual Basic window. Let's insert a new module. I have copied my code from the article, so I am pasting the code here. This is the code that will activate the active sheet to another worksheet and transfer the values of the dataset worksheet to active sheet to another worksheet. Like the previous methods, I have used the range.copy method to copy the values of cells B5 to C10 from the dataset worksheet. Then I have used the sheets.activate method to activate the active sheet to another worksheet. Later, the code will select the cells B5 to C10 and paste the copied values there. Finally, it will turn off the cut copy mode. Now while staying on a different worksheet, click on this play icon to run the code. As a result, you can see that the worksheet named active sheet to another is activated and the values are transferred to this worksheet. In this method, I'll apply the paste special method to copy paste the data. Paste special is a feature that gives you more control over deciding how the content is displayed. With this feature, you can copy not only the data but also the source formatting. Now to write the code, go to the developer tab. From the code section, click on Visual Basic. The Visual Basic window is open now. Insert a new module to write the code. Click on the Insert tab, go to Module. You can see that Module 5 is added. I'll paste my code here. This macro will copy the values of cells B5 to C10 from the dataset worksheet and use the paste special method to paste the values in cells B5 to C10 in the paste special worksheet. Now click on this play icon to run the macro. You can see that the macro has worked perfectly. The formatting of the pasted values are same as the source worksheet. This time, I'll use the useStrange property of VVA to transfer the sales values from the dataset worksheet to the useStrange worksheet. One thing I should mention about the useStrange property is that this copies all the non-empty cells from the source worksheet. So let's go to the developer tab. From the code section, click on Visual Basic. The Visual Basic window is open. Let's insert a new module. You can see that module 6 is created. I have copied the code from the article. Let me paste the code by pressing Ctrl plus V. This is the code with useStrange property. In this code, I have declared two variables to hold the worksheet name of the source worksheet and the target worksheet. As a source worksheet, I have defined the dataset worksheet and as the target worksheet, I have defined the useStrange worksheet. Later, useStrange property is used in this code to copy all the non-empty cells from the dataset worksheet and the values will be pasted in row 4 and column 2 in the useStrange worksheet. Now let's run the code. As a result, all the non-empty cells of the dataset worksheet is copied to this worksheet. You can see that the title of the dataset worksheet is also copied in row 4. Right-click on row 4 and choose the delete option to delete the title. In this way, you can apply the useStrange property to copy all the non-empty cells of a worksheet. In the last method, I will show you how to transfer data to a different workbook. In this example, I will transfer the data from this source workbook to a destination workbook. Let me show you the destination workbook. This is the destination workbook. I will transfer the data from the source workbook to this destination workbook 
using VVA macro. Now let's get back to the source workbook. This is the source workbook. To write the VVA code, go to the developer tab. From the code section, click on Visual Basic. The Visual Basic window is open. I'll write the code in a new module. So insert a module. You can see that module 7 is created. Let me paste the code that I have copied from the article. This is the code that will transfer the data from this source workbook to the destination workbook. You can see the name of the source workbook here. It is transfer data from one sheet to another in Excel using macros. And the extension of this file is Excel SM. This is because to run the VVA code, you need to save the file with Excel SM extension. Now let me quickly explain the code. The name of the macro is copy one from another saved workbook. And here I have used the workbooks.worksheets.range.copy method to copy the values of cells B4 to C10 from the worksheet named transfer to different workbooks. That is the active worksheet. And as a workbooks argument, I have inserted the name of the source workbook. Later, I have inserted the name of the destination workbook and the name of the worksheet where I will paste my copied values. And I will paste the copied values starting from cell B2 in the destination workbook. One thing I should mention here that you need to keep the destination workbook open while running the macro. Now to run the macro, click on this play icon. I have executed the macro. Now go back to the destination workbook and you can see that the values are copied properly. In this way, you can transfer data from one workbook to another workbook. I have demonstrated the step-by-step -step guide for transferring data from one sheet to another in Excel using macros. Hopefully, you can apply this knowledge according to your requirements and convenience. You can download the practice workbook from the video description to sharpen your Excel skills. Feel free to leave any questions, suggestions or feedback in the comment section below. You can go to exceldemy.com to read our Excel blogs or you can share your Excel related issues in our Exceldemy forum and receive free solutions. For more content like this, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching our video. Bye.